Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number five. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about bold and italics and comments actually. So uh, I've got a paragraph that I prepared before this tutorial, just to kind of like save time so you wouldn't have to watch me type all of this out. And uh, I'd like to bold this sentence and then I'd like to put this sentence in italics. Now, uh, there are a couple different ways to bold text in HTML, um, but uh, using just pure HTML, no CSS, uh, I'm gonna show you guys two different ways. Now, the first way I'm gonna show you guys is semantic markup. Now, semantic means that the HTML actually means something. Uh, you want most of your text or most of the markup on your page to be semantic because, uh, well, semantic is uh, read out in screen readers differently. Uh, so let me go ahead and just type all of this stuff out and then I'll come back to talking about semantic semantics. Uh, so let's say I wanna bold this text. Well, the semantic way to bold this text would be to use a strong tag and then to go back over to the end of that sentence and just close off my strong tag. Uh, if you forget to close this off, then it will bold the entire paragraph. So let me go ahead and save this now and come back over to the browser, refresh. Uh, the text that you saw displaying here was from the previous tutorial. Let me go ahead and uh, maybe just zoom in on this a little bit so you can see it more clearly, but you can see that all of this is normal text. Uh, or all of the rest of this is normal text, but over here we have some bolded text. So that is how you bold text semantically. Uh, and then to do it the non-semantic way, you could just bold it using a B tag. Now this is the non-preferred way. You shouldn't actually be simply using the B tag. Uh, you should use the strong tag whenever possible. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit refresh in the browser. And as you can see, there is no visual difference between using the B tag and the strong tag. So if you're simply just trying to bold text for visual purposes, uh, then you know the B tag and the strong tag, no visual difference. But uh, to Google search robots or to screen readers for blind people or to other user agents that use HTML, whenever you use the strong tag, uh, like I said, this is semantic markup. Now semantic markup, you can go ahead and Google the uh, uh, definition, but basically uh, this is HTML that means something. Uh, a screen reader would read this out in a different voice. So if this was, this is normal text, then this would be strong text. You know, it would uh, it would carry more weight behind it. Uh, I hope that was not too loud in the microphone. Um, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at the italics. So I wanna italicize this sentence. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and surround that in an EM tag. Now EM stands for emphasis. And this is the semantic way of creating italics. So let me come back here and hit refresh. And now you can see this sentence has been italicized. Um, so again, semantic markup would just mean that a browser, uh, no, a screen reader uh, may read this out differently or a search robot like Google may read this out differently. So we'd have normal text again and now we'd have some italics. Uh, I don't know how you'd put emphasis on that in your voice, but uh, yeah, uh, basically emphasis is the semantic way of marking this up. And uh, you could also do it the non-semantic way using an I tag, but this again is non-semantic, so it, it's not the preferred way of italicizing text, but um, you know, go ahead and create the I tag and come back here and refresh and you'll see there is no visual difference between the I tag and the emphasis tag. It's just that people prefer to use EM over the I tag. So uh, now that we've taken a look at how to bold and italicize text, 
I want to talk to you guys about HTML comments because uh, this is something that we're probably going to be using in the next couple of videos. And it's just nice to know right off uh, here at the beginning. So uh, an HTML comment is created using the smaller than sign an exclamation mark, and then two hyphens or two minus signs, whatever you want to call those. And then you end off your comments by uh, creating two hyphens and the greater than sign. And you'll notice anything in between those two uh, symbols turns gray. So it's commented out. This basically means that um, text within these comments does not display in the front end. It does not display in the browser, but it does display in the text editor so that we as the programmers can read this and it's it's great for leaving notes to yourself, explaining code to yourself. Um, or maybe like you have a, a paragraph like this that you're not quite sure if you want to display on the website right now. So you can just comment that out. And um, you know, when you refresh it, it's not going to display on the web page. So right now, uh, I'm not quite sure about this text, I don't want it on the site. So I'll comment it out. But then when I do want to display it, I'll just uh, take my comments away. And uh, it will now display on the site. But like I said, it's also good for leaving notes to yourself. So uh, we learned bold and italics with this tutorial. Um, hopefully you spell your notes correctly. That's kind of important to yourself, you want to be able to read your notes. Uh, so yeah, like I said, anything within these comments is not going to show up in the browser. And that is all I have for you in this tutorial. So I will see you guys next time. I just want to send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design and web development. And they can teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field. And they'll do it within 12 weeks which I think is a rather impressive timeline. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Hey, thanks for staying until the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Now, while you're still here, there are a few things that you can do to help. First of all, if you haven't already, subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And if you want to help me make more content more often, or if you feel that my content is just worth paying a little bit of money towards, you can check me out on Patreon. You can also check me out on social media. I will leave the links next to me. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.